Kara and Emma. Emma Kara, which, which which's the best way to say it? That's a good question. Emma and Kara, Kara. Emma and Kara, I think is right. We go back okay. and forth. Okay, well, Kara, I'll throw the first one at you. How long have you had to keep Tell Me Lies a secret? Like, was there a long-term embargo? Like, oh, please do not announce it. We got to announce it first. Sorry, what do you, like, what do well, you mean? There's a long gap from writing a show, you know, having the idea, writing it and selling it and it coming out. So yeah. how long do you have to keep it a secret that it was coming to Hulu, that it was being made, that the world was going to be blessed with this goodness? Oh, well, I mean, I think we early on we were able to announce who was cast and, you know, that we were shooting it and that, you know, it was in production and, and who was involved. Um, you know, the truth is, is that we actually turned this show around very quickly, which I thought was a good thing because I think I'm glad that it's coming out in the beginning of the kind of what we consider the school year. Um, so not, I, I wouldn't say very long in terms of like having people like yourself see the show. Like myself. Yes. <laughs> well, Are you related well, to Gwyneth Paltrowitz? You know what? They did shorten the name a couple of generations ago. So they were Paltrowitz's good eye right there. Interesting. It happens, but they won't acknowledge me. So you know. <laughs> I really couldn't help myself. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's just the goof people tell them that I'm, I'm lonely. But uh, anyway, uh, <laughs> Emma, obviously a fan of your work for a long, long time. I've had yeah. the pleasure of interviewing your father a few times. Now, was your goal all along to be an executive producer and a creative beyond starring in things? You know, I, th I think, yes, I think I didn't know like what that looked like when I was in my teens, but I knew I wanted to read a book and see it brought to life and have a hand in doing that. But I didn't really know like how to bridge that. And Kara and I always sent each other books and had our own like little, you know, two person book club. And we were like, why don't we just start a book club? And, and it really was just kind of as simple as that. And then it kind of turned into exactly what I had always dreamed of, but didn't know how to speak into existence. And so now, you know, with Bellatrist, I get to work with my best friend and read and make TV shows. And it, it, it really is a dream. And to, to not be in the show, has been like in a way a relief because I feel like I can be like creatively objective in a way that I, I haven't gotten to be in other projects. Um, and, you know, as an actor, like if, if you don't like something, you know, it's like too bad most of the time. <laughs> and so it's cool right. to, to be like, you know what, I don't, I don't know if this looks right, or I don't know if I like that and actually have people hear you. So yeah, it's been, it's been, it, it has been a dream of mine always. And it's, it's a dream that continues to be fulfilled with the projects that we're doing. So, Kara, those books behind you are not props, actual parts of the book club. These, I don't know if these specific ones are in the book club, but, you know, we have a little, I think we have some Borges here, which is not something. She's, at, she's at her mom's house. Okay. Uh, Thank you. It happens. She has I mean, a nicer house. <laughs> what can you do? Well, you get it. Emma, not the only project that you have going on about fate. I've been hip to that one. Did you work with Kara on that one as well? You know what? We we diverged on that one, but she did come to visit me in Boston when I was filming because we're real best friends outside of work. Yes. Yes. Um, but no, that was one that Tiffany Paulson, who wrote Holiday and Nancy Drew, also wrote. And Tiffany, I just I love her to death. I feel like her and I you know, speak in the same cadence. Um, so I had to do it. And um, no, it's a romantic comedy with Thomas Mann. And it's it's kind of begs the question, is love choice or is love fate? And these two go on kind of like a wild uh, ride at this wedding together as dates. Um, and it's it's really fun. It's sweet. And yeah, I'm, I'm excited for people to see that in September. I can imagine. Well, Kara, if you see anyone from Goop, you'll you'll tell them I'm looking for them. Yeah, definitely. I would watch, I would read your column on Goop. Let me just put it that way. Okay, let's I make that one happen. But in the meantime, congratulations on Tell Me Lies and looking forward to everything that's to come from both of you in the near future. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you. Really nice to talk to you.